Hi, welcome back to Ruby Vale Road. I'm Alexandra, and today I am sewing a new pair of pajama shorts using an old pair of pajama shorts. I'm just going to first up copy the pattern and then cut it out of my new fabric and then sew them up because I'm really in quite desperate need of making a new pair of pajama shorts. Uh, so these are my old pajama shorts as you can see. Um, they're just elastic banded at the waist. I'm not going to do this uh, waist tie belt. I don't like it. I've never liked it. So I'll just be doing the elastic band. So if you'd like to continue watching and see how I make a new pair of pajama shorts, please do. And if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, leave me a comment, let me know. And if you do end up making a pair, I'd be really excited to see them. So please tag at Ruby Vale Road in any of your projects and sewing. Enjoy your sewing adventures and best wishes. Until the next video, thank you so much. Bye bye. So first up, we're going to be making our pattern. And we are going to need I'm just using some wrapping paper, but if you have newspaper or butcher's paper or pattern making paper, anything like that is fine. Um, I've just got a ruler just to help out. Thick like marker, uh, just to rule over the lines at the end so they're nice and clear. But to actually sketch the pattern, I'll be using a lead pencil because obviously not quite as dangerous as getting a big old stain on the original pajama pants as it would be with using directly the black tip pen. Uh, and then a pair of paper scissors. Remember, always cut paper with paper and fabric with fabric scissors because otherwise you will blunt the different edges of the scissors. Okay, so now taking our pajama shorts, we're going to want to fold them in half. So we're going to make two pattern pieces. We're going to make a pattern piece of the front of the shorts and then a pattern piece of the back of the shorts. So we'll start with the front first, just folding it in half. So just make sure your waistband lines up nice and straight across there. Uh, and then you've got the outside leg of your shorts, so make sure that they line up nicely along there. And then here with the crutch, you can see that this is the crutch seam for the front part, it ends here. The back is a deeper crutch, obviously, because it's got to fit your bottom all right, in there. So, I feel like I said bottom, really posh. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, obviously the back has got to fit your bottom. So, um, the front part of your crutch isn't quite as rounded and scooped. Uh, so here we have our front. Um, I'm gonna try and get these waistbands out of the way here. The other thing is uh, we're going to need to take a few measurements because not only will we have to add in seam allowance, but we also need to add in the extra that we need in the hem. So I'm just going to measure the hem here. So this hem width is two centimeters. So that means we wanna add four centimeters into the hem there because we're going to do a fold and fold. So I'll need the four. And then here along the top of the way at the waistband, the width of the waistband is two centimeters. So again, we're gonna add in the four along the top of the waistband and then along the sides. So along the outside leg, inside leg, we will just add the one, our normal 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. So that's fine. The other thing to consider though is that you do need elastic to make the shorts. So the width of the waistband also would be determined by the width of your elastic. So if you haven't got exactly the same width as the elastic that is in your original pajama shorts, then just adjust accordingly to what you do have. These shorts have no stretch, they're 100% cotton. So yeah, I'll be adding in seam allowance and, and you know, there's nothing that I need to consider with the give of the fabric or anything like that. I'm not gonna put it right against this edge because we need to add our four centimeters along there. So just pull it, pull it out a little bit more. So yeah, I'm just gonna start with sketching it with my pencil. Look, if you're just making these pajama shorts for yourself, I would say you don't have to be super trooper perfect with everything. the basic shape of the short you won't be able to see it so I'm just going to go over it with um, felt tip pen but I'm going to use two different color felt tip pens I'll do one in black and then when we add in seam allowance and hem allowance and all of that I'll do it in another color so you can see the difference now the other really important part of making the pajama shorts is obviously that this has an elastic waist so 
we need to, this is like, we need to make the, the pattern actually bigger than what the waist is sitting with the elastic in it so that it has that space to gather. Yeah, so find your center front seam and find the outside leg of the seam. Stretch out the shorts as much as you can and then measure with the tape measure. So what have we got there? We've got like 24 centimeters. So that means that uh, inside, so on my pattern that the inside leg to the outside leg is going to be 24 centimeters. So I'm a little bit, I'm a bit 20 um, centimeters short here. Uh, so I'll just bring that over plus our seam allowance. So just important things to measure, which then you can extend this line out to here. And then we're just going to extend that line up to there. So as you can see, it's all fairly rough, um, but we're gonna use our ruler now. And so we're gonna go all the way around. We're going to add on the inside leg and down here. So in, well, what's this? This is the inside leg and this is the crotch, sorry. Um, we're gonna add the 1.5 centimeters. And then on the outside leg, we'll add the 1.5 centimeters. Along the waistband, we'll add four centimeters. And at the bottom of the hem, we will also add four centimeters. So we'll go around and do that. is our front of the shorts pattern. And so we just cut our pattern out. Now we're going to do the back piece of the pattern. So we're going to do this one a little bit differently. Instead of just folding it in half and drawing it straight onto the paper, we're going to do like each side sort of individually. So we'll go around. So I'm going to start, I'm a little bit lucky. I'm a bit lucky because I've got, uh, I can see sort of my grid lines through here, through my um, wrapping paper. So I'm sort of gonna use that as a bit of a guide. So to start off with, we need to do our center back seam. So the centre back seam, like we said before, is a little bit deeper and a bit more scooped than the front crotch seam, so, and the centre front seam. So we're going to need to pull this out. So you go here, sorry, um, so we're going to go here, down here into the crotch, I'm going to pull that out and we're going to pull um, up here at the waistband. Sort of fold that under and I'm going to use like this grid line, this faint grid line here. <laughs> um, to line that part up and then line this part up with one of the straight lines going horizontally across here as well. Just so that I know that I'm not doing it on like a huge angle because like you don't want to be pulling it this way or that way. You need to make sure that it's just sitting properly. So that waistband, so I know it's sitting straight there and then I can just pull this part down to here. So we'll draw this part first. So again, just sketching it with my pencil. Oh, flip, I went through the paper, that's all right. Let's sketch through the paper, uh, through this, <laughs> just sketch along there and up here. And then we're going to do the inside leg. So I'm just gonna draw a dot there and connect those two. Now the cross here needs to be, well, for me it's gonna be 24 centimeters. Um, Cause that's what we'd measured previously. So I'm just going to use my tape measure or your ruler and go across to there. Then we're going to do the outside leg. So we're going to fold that one. So open that one up and fold there. And then just sketch and trace that one down. And then we'll just make a little X. And so we can see now that we need to connect this point here to our inside leg seam. Uh, yeah, so we've got our back pattern now. Our 1.5 centimeters in the center back seam. Through our seam allowance, so just drill along there 
and we will do 1.5 centimeters on the inside leg seam as well. So we're going to do 1.5 centimeters on the outside leg right here, and then along the bottom of the shorts, along the hem, we're going to add four centimeters. That's it, and then we'll also add the four centimeters at the top of the shorts. And there we have our back pattern for our shorts. Alright, now that we have the pattern, we can move on to cutting out the pattern from the fabric. Or the fabric of the pattern, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I've just got this. Um, this is actually a polyester fabric, but it's similar to the fabric of my pajama shorts because it doesn't have any stretch. So that's good. Um, and then I'm just going to be cutting it out with some picking shears just to help with it not fraying, but might also have to do um, a little bit of zigzag stitch and whatnot on in the side of the seams to stop the fraying. And then I've also just got some nice elastic. This is two centimeters wide, and the length of elastic you will need is just the length where you want the elastic to go around. So around your waist, or around your hips, uh, minus two inches, minus five centimeters. When you cut out fabric, you always make sure that the right sides are facing together. So we're just going to make sure that that is all nicely straight. So we're not actually cutting this on the fold. We're just going to cut two separate pieces. So I put my piece of my pattern down, and I'm just going to put. Um, a few weights around it and then I just take a few pins to pin the pattern into place. So now I've just done the same thing, so I folded the fabric in half with the right sides together, it's an even width all the way along from the fold out to the selvage, and I'm going to place the back pattern down. We're going to cut two of these back pieces out. And now we have two of two back pieces. So now we're going to start joining it together. So we're going to take one back piece and one front piece, and with right sides together, we're going to put the front piece and the back piece together. And we're going to pin and sew down the outside leg. Sew so the inside leg together. And then I've got this other leg ready here. Done. I'll take them to the sewing machine and stitch those seams together. We're just going to stitch this together along the inside leg seam and the outside leg seam with a straight stitch and a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. And remember to reverse stitch at the start and end of your seam. So the very important part of sewing is to make sure that you iron all of your seams once you've stitched them. So just lay it flat. Open your seam up and with your iron just press it flat. So we'll press all of the seams on the inside nice and flat and then we turn it out the right way. We press the seam 
on the outside nice and flat. Okay, so now that we have our front and back of each leg sewn together, we are now going to start making the shorts look like shorts and join these two legs together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one leg and we're going to turn it inside out. And then we're going to take this leg, which is the right way out, and put it inside the leg that is inside out. So we're going to sew together pretty much this big U shape here, which is going to sew the center back seam and the center front seam all together. So to start off with, just take your two inside leg seams and where they've been pressed flat and make them line up with each other there. And we're just going to pin those together and then we're going to pin all along. So that's all pinned together along there and we can just sew that all in one go, straight stitch with 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. So once you've finished sewing the uh, through the center front seam and the center back seam all together, you'll have that all stitched in and you will finally have a pair of shorts. So just press your seam nice and flat on the inside as we did with our other seams and then on the outside and then we can move on to sewing the hems. So we've got the, so this is the hem down here, the leg of the shorts. Um, so on this one, I've already, I've already sewed the hem on this. So on my pattern, I left four centimeters in the hem. So that means that to roll and roll my hem, I'm going to fold up two centimeters. So I'll just use a tape measure to measure that. So I'm going to fold up two centimeters and then fold over another two centimeters. And I'll put some pins in place and then just stitch around that on my sewing machine. And to stitch, we just stitch right along the edge. So just stitch all the way around the hem and do both and then give them a nice good iron. Now that we've sewn the hems, we are going to do the waistband. So the, the waistband is different to the hem, but with the waistband, we're going to fold 1.5 centimeters and then fold over two and a half centimeters. So we need to hold, fold in the 1.5 just to hide the raw edge and then fold over the 2.5 centimeters just so it's a nice comfortable casing to fit the elastic in, which is two centimeters wide. Well, for my elastic, it's two centimeters wide. So to do that, I'm just going to take my tape measure again. Here, I measure 1.5 centimeters. Fold that over, and then measure 2.5 centimeters, and pin it together, all the way around the top of the box shorts to create the waistband to thread the elastic through. And then at the back of the shorts, we uh, we need to leave a little space where we haven't stitched it. So I've just marked it with the cross pins here, and that's where we can leave an opening to thread our elastic through. And then at the end, we can just top stitch that to get that to close it shut. So I'm just going to take that to the sewing machine, and again, just sewing nice and close to that folded edge um, everywhere except between those two cross pins at the back. Now we're up to our last step of making the shorts, which is to do the elastic through the waistband. So to measure the elastic, i um, just got my elastic. So as you can see, I like wearing my shorts um, just down on my hips. So I'm just going to put the elastic around just loosely. Don't stretch it or do anything like that. Just um, pop it around where you want your shorts to sit, where it's most comfortable for you and measure there and then I'm going to subtract five centimeters from that just so it's got enough stretch as you can see then it's just got a little bit of stretch to it now we can thread the elastic through the waistband using the gap that we left at the back of the shorts and a safety pin so just attach the safety pin to the end of the elastic and start threading this through the waistband just try to hold on to this end here and make sure it doesn't go all the way through so as you can see the elastic is just gathering the waistband in and then we have our, this end of the elastic and this end of the elastic make sure that everything's sitting nice and flat and straight and we're going to put this one on top of this one and stitch over it so I've stitched together the elastic I just went backwards and forwards all over that and then we can just finish off the waistband by folding under that 1.5 centimeters and folding over the two and a half centimeters like we did with the other part of the waistband pop a couple of pins in just when you sew this last part uh, of the waistband when the elastics in it you just need to stretch the elastic so that it stays nice and flat so that the folded over waistband is sitting flat to the shorts and the elastic is nice and out of the way if you don't stretch it it's gonna be all bubbly like this Shorts are ready!
ready to sleep in and lounge in and enjoy all of your hard work and effort. <laughs>